Hi, Chris Beresko back with lesson number six on building your storm panel insert. The next step is to apply both sides of the frame this heat shrink plastic. We're going to unfold the plastic as we discussed in the last lesson. You're going to place the plastic on the table flat. You're going to place the frame right on top of it. Now, the plastic won't stick until we take the backing off the double-sided tape. We recommend doing only one edge at a time because the more of this backing you have off the tape, the more things will get stuck to the frame as you're trying to attach the plastic. You're going to carefully put some pressure on the frame and you can have some help if someone's around. And you're going to lift up and over the wood frame so the plastic comes in contact with that double sided tape. Now if you run your finger across the friction can get kind of warm so I like to take the smooth edge of a utility knife without the knife sticking out and I like to rub it across to seat that plastic right there into that double sided tape. Now we're simply going to go around the frame and do that to every corner. After this is done, we will trim up all the excess plastic, but for now you can leave that on so you can get the plastic attached to the frame. Again, it doesn't have to be pretty. It can be some wrinkles on there because this is all going to be covered up with foam later on. And no one will see it. But by pushing the plastic into the tape, you're also pushing the tape against the frame. It creates a better bond. When all four sides have been done, you're basically going to repeat the process, step five and six, all over again. You're going to go apply another layer of double-sided tape on top of this layer. And you're going to flip the frame around and attach the plastic to the other side. It doesn't matter if it's going to be wrinkled in the middle, this is heat shrink, which means that when we apply the heat, all these wrinkles are going to come right out. You probably can't see the wrinkles too well right now. After we apply the first layer, the first side, we're going to want to turn this plastic up. There's a lot of plastic left over and it can get in the way later on. There's a lot of different methods to do it. I just take a razor blade across so the blade isn't touching the wood. And we cut the plastic, excess plastic away from all four edges. When you get to the corner, there's going to be a little flap of tape, you can cut that right off with a pair of scissors or the razor blade. Alright, now that we've applied the plastic to one side, we're going to repeat again, like I said earlier, the next side with a double sided tape, and we're going to lay it down on the, another piece of plastic, undo the tape backing, apply the plastic. After that, we're going to heat shrink the plastic. I'll show you that in step seven. And then you're nearly finished your storm window insert. This concludes step number six.